We all know of the sun god, the ruler of the light, god of the monkeys in the heavens. But where there is light, there is also darkness, hidden deep in the center of the earth, locked away since the beginning of time, lives the opposite of the sun god, the sun devil. Ancient writings foretell of the sun devil and his immense power, even though he is locked away. Those who serve him still wander the earth. They call them demon monkeys. Demon monkeys are nothing like angel monkeys. They do not require gold to be powered up. Instead, they take your life. All right, let's do this. I am so ready for this, my friends. There he is, the devil. The devil demon monkey. He looks, oh my gosh, this guy looks so evil. He looks heinous. This guy's been up to no good. He's got his little horns. He's got his little tripe, his little stabby, his little stabby pitchfork. Then he's a little gremlin. What is that on his butt or his tail? He's like got a big glob of coal. I think that's what it is. And he shoots fire. He doesn't have a ton of range, but that's still pretty neat. He's very powerful. So the way that this tower works, if you've seen the series with the angel monkey, you, he doesn't level up normally, right? You can't click on it to level up to see his abilities. However, what you do is you actually have to sacrifice things. And for the angel, you give them gold, right? You give up your money, you give it to the angel, and then they can turn that gold into power. But this is not what the demon monkey wants. The demon who wants your sword. He needs this, right? So we actually need to sacrifice our lives to him so it looks like he gives us five lives every round so every round he gives us five rounds so for example we can sacrifice high amounts of health sacrifice will lead to a higher chance of absolution so let's sacrifice 100 lives okay and that only gave us six percent what the heck so we sacrificed almost all of our health right here let's sacrifice another 100 lives so 100 lives boom okay so he's 13 percent of the way done but i only have 30 lives now wait what wait did you see what what did he do now wait what what's happening so he has his current buffs is four damage four pierce attack rate projectile speed and a trident attack wait what is what is he doing he has like some kind of a is that his trident attack? I think that's what it is. I think he's I think he's stabbing him with his trident right now, which is pretty cool. What is that is so wild. Look at how it flashes. That is neat. That is cool. All right, we're going to need what generates lives. So I got Benjamin as a hero because Benjamin has an ability where he'll generate lives for you, which is going to be really nice. Helicopters are gonna be really cool. Marketplaces also are not a bad idea because they are they allow us to get three lives or one life around. I think it's I think it's something small like that. So that's just more lives for us that we can start working on. Support Chinook, because it can it drops lives and cash crates. Does I don't know if special operation gives us more lives. And he gives us five lives also. So as we level up, he kind of gives us more. So we can sac, I think we just wait and we sacrifice a hundred lives at a time. I think that's probably the best bet because I don't want to be running around constantly having one life or something like that, right? That would be terrible. He's very powerful right now. He's just also, we're down in the caves, right? Where he lives, he lives in the caves. Now the question is, does he have camo detection? It doesn't say he has it, right? So let's, we need to donate or sacrifice. We need to give up 100 more lives. Also, look, his trident attack does 1,250, 420 damage. That's crazy. All right, another 100. So he's 20% done. Does he have any new things? So his trident damage does 188,000? That is redonkulous. That's crazy. What? Okay, he can hit camos, though. So that is very cool. He can see you no matter what. You can't hide from him. Mwahaha. And he hits purple. Very cool. Maybe he can't burn purple, but I guess his trident attack does hit it. So that is very nice. I'm just trying to get all the marketplaces down that I can because they just generate lives for us, right? Which is really, really nice. 
he has a lot of damage too. Like, I want to see him go up against a Moab. Does his trident really just one-shot things? Is he really that overpowered? Oh, we have another 100 lives. So let's just go ahead and give him 100 of our lives. There we go. He's got a try shot now. Let's go. So he has 13 projectile speed. That is cool. That is very cool. He does so much damage already. All right, let's just, I don't even think I need anything else. I just need to get marketplaces. We're just literally down in, down in the depths of the underworld. Just setting up market shops just so we can get more lives that we can give to the demon. This seems, this seems very questionable. This is not, this seems very questionable and not a great idea. If anyone with, who's red and he has like horns on his head and a pitchfork and he comes up to you and he offers you cool stuff for some of your life, don't take the deal, all right? That's just, I think that's common sense 101, all right? Does not seem like a reputable individual, okay? I don't think he's been to business school, all right? And even if he had, I don't think I trust him, okay? That this guy is, do not trust. I'm just trying to generate a couple lives. We are generating quite a bit now. All right, another 100 lives. Boom, cool. What are we at? We're at 40%. We're actually doing pretty good. He one shot the Moab. He actually one shot it. That is crazy. That was crazy. Also, I was unaware that you could put so many banana farms on this map. This is actually a really good banana farm map. Oh wait, look, we literally have another 100 lives. All right, boom. And 46, we're halfway to seeing his true power. His true power. Even though it's already pretty crazy. Friends, if you're enjoying this, you want to see the demon monkey versus the angel monkey. I would love to have a competition with that to see who's like the sauciest out of the two. Which one's better? All right, he's at, let's see, 53%? 200 damage? My goodness. Also, we have, we're making a crazy amount of money right now. All right, we're at 60%. We're getting close, my friends. He's, he's insane already. This guy is absolutely terrifying. Well, I think he could already beat round 100. There actually, I know this guy could beat round 100 already. I don't want to skip ahead. He just, he doesn't even need to use his pitchfork ability anymore because balloons don't even get close enough to him. Let's actually just level up Benjamin because let's see, the his life. Cybersecurity adds 10 lives per round. Boom, that's what I wanted because now we can get even more lives. All right, 100, boom, he's at 73%. We're getting so close to having him finally max power. I actually was a little scared in the beginning, thinking, like, how in the world am I going to get this guy a thousand lives? But it actually works out really well. There's actually no cross path towers, and it's working out very well. He's a, you know, it's a reasonable trade. Oh my gosh, he's on fire now! He's actually on fire! What? What? That is such a cool effect! He's like the Super Saiyan, like, ah! he's like powering up now. That is cool. That is really cool. We're getting about 40 lives per round, so not bad. Let's see. He's at 86% of his way. All right, the BF, the BFB instantly got destroyed. All right, 100 lives again. He's at 93%. We are so close. Let's put down the Time Master. I want to see what this guy can do. I went straight to round 100. I want to see his... That is insane. What? All right, 100 lives. He's at... Oh, wait, he lost his fire. What? Okay, he's at 100% now. 1,000 damage, 35 pierce, a just 0.1 second attack, three projectiles, Three times projectile speed, nine projectiles, and a trident attack that does a million damage. What even? Wait, what if we just go to round 200 for this guy? Round... Okay, round 300. Oh. Okay, he can't beat round 300. I was about to say. I think it's just too fast. Like, I think if we're on cubism, I don't think anything could get by. Look at him go! What? He's, 
He just has a huge, I think if the balloons weren't coming from two different directions at once as well, I think he'd be able to deal with anything. He's got a hundred million pops. We should take this guy and battle the angel monkey to see their true powers, my friends. Let me know if you want to see that in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow for some more awesome content.